Hello viewers, Mescal here. The purpose of this video is to uh, make a graphene sheet, a flexible graphene sheet, uh, using the uh, exfoliated uh, graphite method. This stuff here is um, laminated pouches, cheap laminate later. Say that again, cheap laminator and cheap pouches. Uh, this was a Bunnings thing. This is from what's their names? Aldi. I have some. Graphite. Does it say what mesh it is? I have done this before. Uh, and we've got pretty good results. That's why I'm doing it again. The idea of using the graphite, uh, the, the pouch, is something I haven't seen anyone else do. Um, sure if this lamination is the right one to be using. Basically all I did was apply graphite uh, to one side of this, shoved it through the machine, peeled it apart and had uh, two sheets. This product, this sheet says that it's got a um, some sort of one-sided adhesive so it may not work that good on one side of this sheet. So all I'm going to do just put this down, put some graphite on it, that'll be more than enough. Filming on my new camera, you can enjoy the stereo uh, audio. Hopefully it's working, should be right side, left side. Controlling it from the phone, this new camera. It's a cool little app. It's nice to uh, not have to touch the camera, especially when you're mucking around with messy stuff. So, I'm just going to get this crap out of the way. Smear this around. Maybe fingers would be better for this. Um, First time I did it, I just put it in a plastic bag and shook it. I've also tried ironing the edges to make it a pouch and then pouring it into the pouch, shaking it and then tipping it back out. Dicking around with this stuff, I'll get uh, I'll get some acetone uh, mass fraction method going in the sonicator. Um, there's another experiment I need to do. Uh, no, I haven't forgotten Electro. Um, he sent me some polysiloxane. Uh, check out Electro one six two two if you haven't already seen his channel. Got access to all sorts of cool, um, cool gear. Got a lot of knowledge. You yeah, said so the um, the other experiment with the polysiloxane will be an interesting one to anyone mucking around with graphene. Uh, I have mentioned a little bit about the subject to those that are in the graphene field, so hopefully someone's had a crack at it. It's not my own research, well, it's my own research insofar as the way that I've applied it, but I've found uh, papers out there that suggest the technique that I tried. Um, in regards to polarizing your graphene is a valid idea. All right, let's tip this back into the Graphite bucket. Get that in view for the for those at home. OK. 
Okay. Ah, oh, shit, it's all over the floor. Well, that had to happen, didn't it? Okay. It's alright. It cost me that much. And let's just shove it through the laminator. It's set to heat. That way, a little bit wonky, it might screw it up. At any rate. You've never used one of these things before, they're fairly straightforward. Just turn them on and shove the lamination in. There's another guy whose name forgets me right Name forgets me. Name eludes me right now. Who um, was using polyurethane applying the graphite and then buffing it off um, when I recall his name I'll put his link in the bottom click down there um, so I'll put a link to Robert Murray Smith if anyone's into graphene they should already know about him um, Electro 1622 and who the hell is the other guy oh it'll come to me So, there it is. Uh, I should have probably not touched it until it cooled because it's put a wrinkle in it. You can run it back through to smooth it out. I might do that. Probably have a mask on dealing with this graphite. I don't know if the smell I'm smelling is from this thing, which has a high plastic smell about it, or this stuff that's up my nostrils. Bloody hell, it's on my toe too. Now we're going to try and peel that open. Looks like I've got a bubble in there. This is worse than trying to peel a sticker. Perseverance, it will open up. Got it. So anyone watching this that comes out with, you know, that's just graphite put onto a material, that's not graphene. Remember who got the Nobel Prize for um, using sticky tape and a lead pencil. So, you know, mechanical exfoliation is a valid method. I don't want to hear your BS. We do need to polish it though. This one's peeling out quite nicely.
zoom out a bit. Go and more graphite showing at the end there. Okay, so now. Basically, you have to polish this until you don't get any more graphite on your paper. It takes a lot of rubbing, but the end result, we end up with a very cheap and easy flexible electrode. It's something everyone has access to. Buying graphite from a um, you know hardware store that sells it for lubricating locks. Going down to your uh, office supply, getting a laminator, it's easy. Everyone can do this. You end up with large sheets. Now, I can do an ohms reading on that now. However, the best results will be after we've polished it for quite some time. So, we've seen the basic method. There it is. Feel free to take this and uh, do what you will with it. These electrodes will be making an appearance in a later video about um, electric bacteria. Anyone that's been following me will know that out in the yard I have a setup um, with a solar panel and some electrodes in the ground, um, calling up some electric bacteria to the plate uh, to the electrodes. I'll then dig that out, put that in water, um, disperse it, uh, and then apply voltage to more electrodes. Um, and the idea being that we put these close together with electric bacteria in between and have a large surface area, uh, current collectors along one edge, and we should be able to make um, not a battery, but an uh, a bacterial fuel cell. Um, again, with cheap, easy, available materials. The 17 meg ohm. I have had this down to the um, into the K reading once polished. Alright, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up. If you're on Google Plus watching this, go over to YouTube. Google Plus is destroying our uh, destroying our ratings. Thanks for watching. And where's the app to stop the recording? 13 minute video, that'll take some uploading.